Welcome to Dude RV. You got here just in time. Hey, I have an interesting project. So as you know, we have a big RV built on the F550 Super Duty chassis. It does not have an air brake system. Therefore, it does not have an air driven horn. It's just got one of those electric horns that's not that impressive. And I have been continually cut off and people pulling out in front of me. I need a way to get their attention. Fortunately, fortunately, a friend, oh, gotta turn on some light. Fortunately, a very good friend of mine bought a truck that came equipped with the black golly train horn system. And, and, when we were cleaning out dad's, my father's shop after, after he passed away, I found that right there. So that, that's actually a truck horn, air powered truck horn. And then we have the air powered train horns. These are actually a plastic fiberglass composite and they are from air horn air blasters horn blasters hornblasters.com i haven't heard them working i heard that one and that will definitely get some people's attention so this video is all about installing an air horn on a motorhome so i'm putting an air horn on the motorhome I have no instructions other than what little bit I've gathered from the internet. Right now, I'm fabricating a bracket amount for the horns. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm planning on going between the frame on the rear of the coach. I've got, I've got a lot of empty space there where I can fit something in. My challenge is supporting the shorter horns getting the back end is a piece of cake now each of the the back end on each of these there's the air inlet and that can be used to attach the back of the horn to the angle iron such as that That'll give me lots, lots of stability. Put a couple bolts in on either side. The back end is supported. What I'm struggling with is the front end because the, the four horns are three different lengths. Easiest thing would probably be to have one strip of material going across there. But I don't have... Well, maybe I do. Let me, let me dig around in the junk pile a little more. I'll be back. Installing air horns on a motor home. I have pretty well finalized the mounting bracket fabrication. Of course, it's, it's not tight because I, I need to take it apart and stain it. Or take it apart and paint it. That's pretty much what we have. Actually, when you're looking at it from underneath, that's what you'll see right there. You'll see when I get it installed. Next, next thing on the project list is figuring out how I'm going, how and where I'm going to mount the air compressor and tank. Good morning. Today, I finalized the assembly of the horn bracket uh, so today i'll be i'll be put, i'll be mounting the horns on the bracket and putting the horns under under trudy this this is gonna be kind of winging it because i don't know if i'm gonna be able to put the bracket in with the horns installed or if i gotta put it all assemble it once I've got it under there. So let me figure out what I'm gonna do and I'll cut back in and show you what I'm gonna do. Horn assembly 
assembled, complete assembled and ready to install. We're looking at the, the top view. The air, so the, the horns are actually only held in place by the little screw and the air fitting. That kind of concerned me, so I went ahead and put a little safety wire wrap on there. So we're gonna head over to the coach, get on the creeper, and see about mounting it. So I'm under under the coach. So this is where I'm gonna be mounting the horns. It's right under the the back of the coach, just forward of the receiver hitch. The horns are mounted. Kind of giving you a top view there. I don't judge. <laughs> I'm not sure how well you can see it. I didn't end up getting straight. Anyway, no one's gonna be looking under here. Now to install the air compressor and tank. They're going to go right here in this void. Got to go fabricate another bracket. Took me a while. Late afternoon now, but you know, since I got the horns mounted, we had to go do some shopping and buy some material. So this is the framework that'll hold, that holds the compressor and the tank very similar setup this is going to rest on the under side of the frame and we'll bolt it to the frame all right back under the motorhome good morning uh oh it's running away it's ready to go to work that's my half inch airline tubing i have mounted the compressor i've mounted the horns Today, not quite so much drilling to do because, man, that drilling was wearing me out. I've gone through four or five quarter-inch bits. <laughs> what can I say? I'm hard on my tools. Drilling upside down into the bottom of the frame, uh, getting that angle, just anyway, the bits kept snapping off. I'm done with that part of it. So today, I'm going to be working on two things. Oh, there we are. Hey, even with the light, I was in the shadow. So today we're going to be working on the air lines and the wiring harness. I'm going to have two air stations on either side of the coach so that I can just plug in and air up low tires. And I'm also going to install the trucker horn at the front of the coach. So I'm going to be running a half inch line from the compressor all the way to the front of the coach with two stub outs for air stations. And then I'm going to be wiring into the upfitter switches on the F550 chassis. Right now, let's go take a look at, at the finished install on the compressor and the horn. I've already shown you the, the horn assembly and, and how that's installed. We move over to the compressor and tank. Everything is, is resting on the frame. So the bolts are primarily to keep it from vibrating and from moving. So all the load, the shear force is coming straight down. So here we can see, I, I re actually relocated the, the pressure gauge still can't see it perhaps i should run that out anyway that's that's a project for another day today what we're going to be doing is plumbing things together so running half inch from here to here and then half inch going all the way to the front of the coach and connecting all our wires which, since it's 12 volt system, I really only need to run one wire for each thing. We have the blue, according to the schematic. Red is the 12 volt positive. 
Blue is the ignition wire so that the compressor will not run when the ignition is off. And then black is the ground. The same on the compressor. So the power comes in through this line. Goes into the pressure switch. So when the pressure drops below 100, and 100 PSI, this kicks on, or th this turns on, charging this through this line. So let's get busy putting in some plumbing and some wire. Most of the, most of the crawling around under the coach is done. I've got the airline and wiring pulled. That was, that was an undertaking. I've got the the trucker horn mounted. You know, it looks like there might be. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like it might be a a, a connection for another air horn, uh, another horn or something, because it seems to be split off the same harness. But that doesn't mean much. So behind the driver's side headlight, I have. The solenoid, so this is a solenoid for the front horn, the trucker horn. I still have one more hose connection to make there. I have the air horn, the, the main half inch line is, is connected to the air tank. Oh, we're, we're literally, we're ready to energize the system. This, in case you don't know, on the F550, on the Super Duty, the Ford Super Duty chassis, this is your upfitter switch relay box. And right underneath that, there's a wiring harness here. And we're going to unravel that here shortly and get into the wiring. It won't take much because everything, all the connections I need are are right there in that upfitter box. I don't need to run, I only had to run one wire for each component because I'm gonna use the chassis negative. All right, let me wrap this up and we'll get into the electric. So we're installing an air horn on the motor home. Working on the F550 chassis. Fortunately, we have the upfitter switches, and that's, that's what this box here, this box is the relay for the upfitters, and all of the switches in the cab. These are the upfitter switches. I'm not sure which is on, which is off. I think it's off back here. There's six of them. Two of them, these two are 40 amp relay circuits and the rest are 20. So my air compressor is actually gonna be switched on this one. Truck horn is number one, train horn number two. And that'll leave me with three other circuits that, I don't know, <laughs> I'll figure out something. Few more connections and then we shall have compressed air. I'm rather frustrated. I'm rather frustrated because the little valve that I bought for the truck horn on the front don't work. It leaks, leaks air. But everything else is working. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's do it. Compressor's running, horns tooting. As soon as the compressor recharges, we'll go all out. All right, let's see how loud it is. Very good, it's not as loud as I thought it was. Well, it's been about a week. I'm doing a train horn install on the motor home. I ran into a bit of a challenge with the air solenoid valve that I had ordered from Amazon, the cheap one. I, I sent it back because it, 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 it didn't work at all. 
and I ended up going with the horn blasters valve. This is the same valve that came with the, the kit for the the train horns. Now I'm going to connect it to the the truck horn. It's going to connect to the half inch OD tubing. So I ended up having to kind of cobble this together. So these, this valve is a quarter inch NPT. And I need to go to a half inch OD. So that's what this is going to do. Just to the half inch. And then I've got to reduce that. Convert that over to NTP. And adapt it to, to fit. So I'm going to put that together. And then we'll go install it. Well, I've got it all put together. Here is what it looks like. So you go from a half inch OD and reduce that all the way down to the quarter inch NTP and then coming out with a quarter inch NPT. Now we just need to go plug it in and see if it's going to do its horn thing. All right. I think I'm finished. So I have get to pardon the compressor it's it's airing up so we can test that horn one more time so we have an air point on this on each side we've been having problems with them leaking though that one doesn't seem to be leaking that's soapy water so we should be getting some some bubbles if we had a leak I have the, the engine running because a little compressor pulls a lot of battery. That's where the truck horn is installed. Right there. It is pretty loud. As soon as that air compressor shuts off, we'll sample. Here's the truck horn. We're set up on, on number one. <laughs> Don't mess with me. You've already heard the train horn. So that's, that's my, my two air horns on Trudy Thunder. How to put an air horn on a motor home. There you go. Hey, if you found this video to be informative or fun, I'd appreciate you giving me one of those thumbs up. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm very honored. And for my patrons, <laughs> you rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?